Hello and welcome my chihuahuas on steroids. It's SJB here and today is going to be a weird video. We're going to try to do Chimps Plus, which is an advanced map um, with only mortars and our hero today. Uh, before I get too started in here, I gotta ask you guys a quick favor. If you guys wanna press that like button for me, that'd be absolutely fantastic. If you haven't subscribed yet, that would be even more fantastic. Hop on that action. Um, and I gotta let you guys know that I am unbelievably, unbelievably tired today. Like, normally I have like, uh, oh, well, I'm not feeling super duper great. Like, I got a little tinge of tiredness to me or something like that. No, I am absolutely exhausted, and let me tell you why. First of all, I was uh, hanging out with my dogs last night, so uh, 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 Luna was feeling a little sick, so I wanted to stay up with her as late as I possibly could. And for some reason, I was trying my hardest to stay up with her, and I actually fell asleep, like, not laying down. <laughs> this is like the first time that this has ever happened to me in my entire life. Um, and it was, it's kind of weird, to be completely honest with you. Like, really weird to try to uh, fall asleep while not laying down. And I'm not saying I was not, like... Uh, standing up or anything like that. I was kind of like hunched over in like a weird way on the couch and sort of leaning up against something uh, with my neck sort of like hanging down and uh, oh yeah, it was it was kind of weird, man. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. All right, here we go. We've got the uh, mortar flow in force right now. We're gonna still just micro the crap out of this. So this is one of the only maps in the game where mortars are actually surprisingly amazing. Um, they're like area of effect is, of course, going to affect giant circles of damage, of course. Bluton's kind of go in a big circle in here, but not once, but three different times. Um, meaning that pretty much every single thing that we do to them is going to be increase their damage a lot fold. So I've got my signal, uh, I've got my burning stuff. I'm going to go for a signal flare so I don't have to worry about camo balloons pretty much forever. And then my next tower after that is I want to go for my uh, uh, artillery battery, but I'm a little afraid. I don't think I can afford an artillery, bat artillery battery before the Moab, and if I can't, I might want to swap to just a few more extra mortars or something like that, just kind of see how it goes. Now, I should uh, mention to you guys that the start of this was actually quite difficult. Uh, I had to use Quincy. Oh, well, I didn't have to. I could have used Sawdar, I could have used another hero, but I, I decided to use Quincy because he's kind of fun and cool and everything. And I uh, uh, originally put him here, and that was not strong enough to stop round six and seven, so I eventually found a spot here that could attack the front and in the end, and, like the exit over here, and that got me through. Um, everything until about round 9, and then I could not beat round 9, so I had to pay $100 to level him up to level 3 to barely time my ability to get that going. And I probably should have recorded that, but I didn't. Um, I just want to let you guys know that getting started in here was actually quite tricky, and I did not want to just spend an hour recording round 6, 7, 8, 9, because that just seems kind of weird. So instead, I decided to just beat it for you guys and start this off in uh, uh, hopefully a much more fun way with mortars! All right, we're still doing okay here. We're going to have to micro this crap a little bit, man. All right, a little bit of Bernie stuff action, and we good, we good. And we're actually going to be able to afford an Ursula better, I think. Pretty easily, actually. You get a surprising amount of money, man. It's it's not that bad, actually. And once we get this guy, oh my god, we're freaking golden for so long, dude. It's going to be amazing. So anyways, after I fell asleep, kind of sitting up a bit, uh, uh, I mean... It, Let's be honest, like, you're, you're not going to sleep through the night like that. You're not going to wake up, like, super well rested nine hours later, like, oh, what a wonderful night. No. I woke up at, like, five in the morning, and I'm like, yeah, yeah I really need to go, like, go to bed, you know. And this was after about three hours, two hours of sleep or so. I was trying to stay up with my dog for a little bit. And, uh, uh, I managed to get upstairs, do all of my good nighty stuff, and then I fell asleep for approximately two more hours. And it just so happens that I heard it, I heard some ridiculous banging, like boom, 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 boom. Imagine, like boom, 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 in your head after you got a terrible night's sleep. Uh, after like two hours of sleep, you go back upstairs, you get another one and a half hours of sleep, and all of a sudden, bang, 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 bang. Now I understand that some certain people like live in this, like uh, deep in the city and, and whatnot, and you know you might hear quite a few weird noises and all that stuff. And I, I, I feel bad for you, man. I feel for you. It could really suck the fun out of life, dude. I'm used to my somewhat quiet uh, suburban neighborhood, I suppose. Um, I do not live in the city. I would never, ever want to live in a city. I would not mind living more rural than I currently am. Rural. Uh, 
but I don't want to go like full on rollover. It takes me like 30 minutes to get to a grocery store or something like that. Like I want to be able to go to different restaurants and go to different things. Um, and you have to live somewhere suburban-ish to make sure that that's going to happen properly. All right, so we are going to go for a big one. Um, we're almost there already. I think that's going to give us that pop and power that we need for sure for the mid game here. And then we have to decide what we want to get as our first fifth tier. So we've got fourth tier, fourth tier, and then this guy, not a fourth tier yet, but we don't need him. We don't need him at all. Um, so we have to decide, though, if we, if we do want to get this guy, the Bernie stuff, what's it called? The Bloom Cineration? Bloom Cineration up to fifth tier. We have to go through the Shattering Shells, and to me, that's probably the best one, but of course it's going to be $54,000 saved up with mortars, man. That just sounds hard to do. Okay, so let, let's try to manage that. I mean, honestly, I think we can do it. I, I think we can save up our money, and we can kind of gauge things as they go on. If we need to go for a biggest one instead, that's fine, but I probably don't want to go for a pop and all. Look at how small this stuff is. They, like, really wanted to jam as many words as they possibly could into that pop and all ability. For most other stuff, it's just, like, shattering shells. It's big! It blows things up! Quincy, he pops balloons. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh... Uh, I woke up because I was like kind of in, like scatterbrained like oh my god what's going on and my first thought was that my dog was um, like having a seizure or something like that because sometimes she runs on the wall when she's sleeping and like it can make some it can make some noises you know for specifically scratchy noises it didn't really sound like this but it sounds like it could have had been like uh, I don't know something similar esque but way way worse. Uh, where she's like freaking out or something like that. So I jump up out of bed really quickly and I run out there and she's not even at the door. I'm like, what the heck is going on, dude? Where is this noise coming from? So I'm like walking around the house. I put my ear up to the like the uh, uh, the wall and I'm like, it sounds like it's coming from the wall. So my next thought was, oh my God, there must be some sort of animal loose in my attic. All right, I don't know what this thing is, but it's freaking huge and it's banging up a storm. Must be caught on something or something like that. So I'm like getting ready to go up uh and uh climb up into my attic i got the ladder all set up and everything and then i look out uh and then i listen for a quick second here and i because i'm in my garage that's the access to my attic or at least the attic spot where all this crap was happening and i was like wait 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 it doesn't sound like it's coming from above me it sounds like it's coming from outside and of course i go outside and lo and behold yes there are roofers working on the house next door um Keep in mind that this was at about 7 in the morning, so it was, I don't know, maybe 7.15. I don't really know exactly what time. I just jumped up. I just freaking out, bro. Uh, and uh, uh, I figured out that it was it was the, the roofers doing the roof next door. Now, I should have known that. I've seen some of their random shingles, like, sitting outside and stuff like that. Uh, so I should have known or at least thought of that. Because of my lack of sleep, I wasn't thinking very clearly. Clearly, I was not thinking very clearly. Clear until the battery blast. Ba-boom, ba-boom. We've got to move the artillery battery. And look at that. We take it down. Beautiful. So we don't have to do much micro, basically, unless something bad happens. We don't have to micro at all. Um, we are getting to the point where regular mobs are going to be a little bit tricky. BFBs are going to be tricky. And then reinforced mobs are actually going to be pretty devastating. I think they might even be more difficult than a BFB because of their speed. Um, we'll have to see how things go. Um, but we might be in order for uh, a biggest one soon instead of going for the blue incineration. Uh, oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, reinforce my webs with a little bit of micro. It's not too bad, but I would not want to deal with a lot of those things. Oh, yeah, look at that. Getting down to the third circle here. As far as regular loons go, clearly we can take them down. I don't want to say no problem, because three mortars here should be fan-freaking-tastic against the balloons. But look at this. They're getting, I mean, with the terrible micro, they're getting pretty far, bro. Getting pretty far. Here we go. We're just going to use our ability just to use it. Probably should have saved for Run 64, because I believe there's some reinforced mobs in here. Yeah, there are a couple reinforced mobs. Let's use Quincy's ability instead. That'll get me going in here. Yeah, yeah. Looks like all together, we still taking them down. Now, again, I think the best play to do is to get the Bloom Generation going. So if I can save up that money, I want to make it happen. And I think with a little bit of micro, I'd be willing to, to take a chance and try to jump up to this guy. And because of that... Um, I think I'm going to go Shattering Shells because that'll stop the Reinforced Mobs from becoming an issue. And of course, there's not very many Reinforced BFBs coming out very soon. But um, if there are any Reinforced BFBs and we can't afford a Bloom Sideration, at least that'll knock them down to regular BFBs and that'll be good for us. Alright, quick uh, ability here. 
Now, one other thing that I could do is if I need a little bit of extra popping power and I don't want to spend a full-on crazy mount on a, the wrong fifth tier, I could buy another random artillery battery. It doesn't make that big of a difference, but it can make a big enough difference that I think will allow us to get to that fifth tier. Um, it sucks to put yourself behind another five rounds or six rounds or whatever, but it can be pretty terrible. So to finish off the story, yeah, I went outside. I uh, just kind of like looked out of the thing. And keep in mind, there's no windows on this side of my house for some reason. It's like the windowless the windowless area, so I couldn't have just looked outside and saw that there was Rufus out there. Not that I would have wanted to do that, because I would have been blinded by the deep dark sun. I'm like a freaking vampire, man. I got full-on blackout curtains and everything, and uh, uh, I don't I don't like sunlight, all right? Or at least not not in my house. Not in my house. Outside, I, I love sunlight. Walking outside in the sun, get my vitamin D every single day, bro. Love it. Inside my house? No. Vampire. Full-on, white-skinned, garlic will kill me, silver destroys my soul, all of that nonsense, I am full on vamp, drinking blood maybe, I don't know, maybe, we're not gonna go that deep, but, um, I'm vam, fam, fam, vampir, vampiristic, I don't know what the word for that would be, vampire-like, I think is probably the easiest way to say it, uh, alright, blue iteration, we're still about $10,000 off, but things are still going reasonably smooth so far, I have not had to even use all three abilities at the same time, so that's pretty, Pumpalicious. Uh, once we get Bloom's Iteration, I believe that we will take everything down with ease. I don't even think I'm going to have to micro until... Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Artillery battery, get to work. Uh-oh. All right, we're going we're gonna to do this. We're going to go for a quick Quincy ability here. We're going to go for our Artillery Battery Blast. 72, surprisingly, interestingly difficult. Um, again, getting close. Getting close, so which it should be required to micro a little bit here and there. Um... When you're saving up $30,000, $40,000, the worst thing that have to happen to you, though, is that you cannot beat that round. So you buy a few thousand dollars worth of towers, that sets you back another round, then that next round kills you, uh, and you have to buy a few more thousand dollars worth of things to keep it going, and again, and again, and again, and it's pretty terrible. Wow, these yellow balloons are pretty brutal, bro. Woof. Woof. Alright, 75 will be very tricky as well. We're gonna have to watch out for those double BFPs. I'm sure gonna have to use my abilities. Um, 76 shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. I think with our artillery battery, should be good. And I'd like, though, on 75, if possible, to save my arrows, just in case 76 is somehow magically an issue. I don't want it to be, but you never freaking know, man. You never freaking know. So the first set is just a regular BFB here. We're gonna micro these regularly. Um, but the second and third, I believe, are double BFBs. So there's a lot of balloons to have to deal with here. Now, I should probably actually be microing my big one rather than my artillery battery. Um, against the smaller balloons, so maybe I'll start doing that for the future. But if any Moab sneak through, I need to use the artillery battery. All right, so here we go. We're definitely going to use our first Quincy ability. I'm definitely going to use my artillery battery blast. And that should get us through this uh, BFB army here, I hope. I'll keep the artillery battery there so I can pop the rest of the Moabs on the BFB step spot. And we're going to go for the biggest one, or big one, over here. Going pretty well. Moving back. A little bit of micro required, but nothing too crazy. And it looks like, I think we're going to take them down. Yes, yes, yes. Slow it down a little bit. Some yellow balloons trying to sneak through. And we clean them all up. Woo! All right. So we're going to just use these arrows because I don't want to die. And we get the money for balloon incineration, baby. Now, this is a de-reinforcing balloon incineration fiery blast of doom that will affect an area of effect inside this crater right here. And I do not see these balloons getting anywhere near me, man. I don't even see them getting to the second crater over here, bro. They're just done. They're just done. So anyways, my morning was a bit rough. Um, a bit rougher than usual, I suppose. Uh, luckily, dog's doing great, so don't have to worry about that. Um, she's doing fine. She's, I, I think she just ate something she wasn't supposed to. I've been taking my, my dogs on um, a lot of walks lately. Uh, it's been very nice temperatures, and I feel like I have to try to like keep them busy. I have a puppy at home, so she's, only, she's about like 10 months old now. Um, and she has been absolutely spastic. So I've been trying to take them on uh, at least two miles of walks a day, sometimes up to three, four, or five miles of walks a day, um, as long as it's not raining or thunderstorming or something ridiculous out. Uh, and uh, it's been wonderful. It really does just make them lay down for almost the rest of the day, which is quite beautiful. Okay, but anyways, I'm tired, so I don't know if you guys can tell or not. I'm still feeling like I, I'm not slurring my words or anything like that, but if I do sound like that, I, I apologize, guys. Um, crap like this happens. And I felt like what I wanted to do is I wanted to pick a decent tower for a decent map. I didn't want to go too crazy with my uh, uh, 
uh, hardcore towers or anything like that. I just wanted to get her done, man. So hopefully you guys don't mind. Mortars are usually pretty difficult, but on certain maps, they can be super duper easy. Unfortunately for us, the beginning was difficult, but then every single second after that has just been straight up beautiful. All right, so Zomaga, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I was not even ready to micro because I just thought I was going to be able to pop them. Um, all right, yes sir. -y. That was a little worse than I thought, but not the end of the world. We managed, we managed, we managed. So anyways, uh, we're basically saving money at this point. We want to get a biggest one. Um, more than a pop and all. Uh, pop and all, I mean, the, the reason why there's so many words here is because they're basically saying that our, all artillery batteries now give extra damage to the bad balloon. So, that's kind of cool. It means that if we are going to go for this mortar strategy and we want to pop the bad balloon, the best thing to do is to get one pop and all and then just spam artillery batteries after that. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to spam around a ding dong them. Hopefully we'll go, uh, go decent. Ooh, I'm ready to get your guys' panties in a bundle. I was thinking about what I wanted to talk about for a quick second and... I guess this is like the perfect time, the perfect time to get panties all bundled. Oh crap, what the heck? Super ceramics, bro. Super ceramics. These are painful. All right, we're just gonna use our ability just to clean them up. Uh, Zoma gods are pretty, pa oh, look at this. We got biggest one. Whoop. There it is. That's a big difference in popping power now. Even this, even these Zoma girds aren't gonna be uh, doing all that much to us because now they're kind of like multiplying on themselves, the uh, buffs and stacks and damage effects because this slows them down this does area of effect damage basically so anything that's even remotely over here getting demolished specifically even though my gods getting burned to a crisp over here it's beautiful to watch perfect stunnage um i don't think i want to micro i think i could put them like a little bit further over to the right over here but not i don't want to go too crazy because the it's hard to tell exactly where the explosion ends and whatnot i don't want to be wrong about that but we could use like an ability every single round i don't want to go too crazy with it but like one here one there should not hurt us too much but i gotta be careful here we got round 90 coming in. i'm really hoping this guy's gonna do what he's supposed to be doing um it's supposed to melt through the balloons but it's also supposed to i don't remember if it it still decamelizes the ddts as well um only as a balloon generation not as anything yeah so it does it decamelizes the ddts that's good and that means that all of our other towers that cannot see camel balloons can hurt the DDTs if they can pop black balloons, which luckily this guy and this guy both can. Clippity clap. Mortar's not too shabby, man. Um, and we're rocking it. So anyways, I only got like a few minutes to talk about this, but I wanted to talk really quickly about conspiracy theories. All right. Just very quickly. I'm going to touch on them really quickly. Um, so I'm a man of, of science, at least as most as I possibly can be. Um, I, I know that, uh, I, I would not say that I am, I, I'm one of those scientists that likes to use the scientific method, per se, but I like to keep up to date on, um, all the new science coming out and all the new discoveries coming out, whether it's space travel or just, um, the physics of, Whatever the heck's going on these days, quantum mechanics and all that goofy stuff and all the new particles that are getting discovered and all the cool stuff that's going on with all that, I try to keep up to date on it, at least a little bit. Not that I fully understand it, necessarily, but uh, sometimes just even having like a layman's understanding of things can be uh, kind of cool to like look at all this stuff and, and decide uh, what you think some of this stuff means. Um, and I like to get deep and think about, like, the universe and stuff like that. But anyways, getting back down to it, I think I'm a man of science for the most part. And, uh, conspiracy theories and science don't always line up. Because usually, to have something be scientific, you need to be able to, like, test it and retest it. And this is not a theory that you can test and retest it. Like, it either happened this way or happened this other way. And there's not necessarily enough information for us to fully decide whether it happened this way or it happened that way. So that's where cons conspiracy theories can kind of get lost in a little bit of weirdness. Because you cannot guarantee for a fact that it happened a certain way. Um, in some situations. But in others, I think people just overlook the facts just to believe some sort of theory that doesn't make that much sense. For example, the moon landing. That's what got me thinking about this. Anybody who thinks the moon landing um, was fake, I think they got some uh, some decent issues over there because uh, there's like so much proof about all of that. I mean, like going back down to it, the flat earth theory, flat earth conspiracy theory, wrong. Just want to be straight with you guys. Like you can't believe that it just, rose in the face of everything that is scientific and 
all this crap that's been proven for forever, basically, by even people back 2,000 plus years ago. Like, it's just, it's just like, no, no, you can run these experiments in your backyard if you want to prove this stuff. But anyways, okay, we're gonna go for a quick artillery battery blast. It's going pretty well here overall. Still popping all the most, most of the DZs in the front here. So there's only two conspiracy theories that I just do not like and I have to throw in the garbage and be like, you're just straight up wrong. There's so much facts and evidence and everything to back them up. Definitely not the fact that it, <laughs> we live on a, a spherical Earth. If you want to call it an obloid sphere or whatever the heck you want to call it, go ahead. But a spherical uh, Earth. And we also did make it to the moon in, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 1969. Which is kind of cool if you imagine it. Like, the computers back then were freaking crazy. You had more you have more power in, in your phone right now than the full uh, power of NASA computers back in 1969. Which is just absurd if you really get down and think about it, man. Here we go. We got pop and all ability. This is great for stunning zone my gods and things like that. Now for the rest of the rest of our money here. The rest of the rest of our money. It's all about artillery batteries. And of course, we want to get the uh, bigger blasts and blue busters with all of our artillery batteries here. That will definitely help us out here. All right, so 96. Um, probably not going to be too painful here. Looking pretty good. For 97, we're definitely going to pop in all this crap. I'm probably going to pop it all around 98 as well. But basically, any biggest, the biggest balloons in the game are actually the hardest for us. The bad balloon and these reinforced, oh my gods, are the hardest balloons for us to pop. Now, other things, I'm not saying that I uh, necessarily believe in them, but at least they have a reasonable amount of merit to them. For example, um, I have seen uh, the 9-11 conspiracy theories that uh, it was planned by the government and things like that. I personally don't believe that whatsoever. Or that there was... Uh, bombs put in the buildings because there was nothing else could explain the explosions that came out but i don't i don't believe in those um i still believe that uh that is not how it happened um i believe that there was, it was actually a terrorist attack and all that stuff based on a lot of the evidence in there and i think people just look at it and say that the uh the way the buildings went down don't doesn't really make sense but it's like dude how often do you see buildings getting exploded by uh, getting exploded by a plane and having thousands of gallons of jet fuel burning up the entire building on top of being an office building which has tons of paper and all this other stuff that could burn and add to the fire and uh the structural damage to everything it just like doesn't make full sense to me um all right so we're gonna have at least at least one ability to use here um we're gonna wait as long as we possibly can we're gonna go for our pop and all ability I really hope that I did not need run this for round 99. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna exit out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it. I do not want to have to use that on 99 and die. So let's just let's check. Let's let's go back. All right, so with no abilities, I got to sneeze. <laughs> oh, God, all right. No abilities. I lied. One ability, but not using our pop and all ability. We did end up surviving. I'm going to try to do it without this one. We're going to use just one of these instead. And it looks like it's actually going pretty smooth because we are... Oh, we are de-reinforcing the D to T's. I forgot that that was going to happen, believe it or not. And it looks like... I don't know. For some reason, we're... Uh, oh, there it is. A little bit of lag there. All right, so we're going to have to micro this a little bit. All right, micro this a little bit, just a little bit, just a wee bit here. And we're going to pop these puppies in, boom, boom, boom. We're going to go for our quick uh, stunning ability here. We're going to go for this ability as well while we got the extra damage off of it. Uh, Quinty's first ability here. Um, we're going to save the air. Oh, look at that, not in range for some reason. Uh, we're going to get save these arrows for as long as we possibly can because we're probably going to have to pop this bad near the back of the map. Oh, it's going around another time. All right. Not too bad. Let's move this guy up here. I think this is going to go down, man. I don't see this being a major issue for us. I just don't. All right, another artillery battery here. All right. We take that down. Biggest one. I'm just moving everything over here. We're going to keep the biggest one on the Bernie stuff to burn through this stuff for this side. 
and we're going to rely on the rest of the explosions to deal with the damage once they get into this little last circle. And we're going to use everything we got all combined together to demolish round 100 and beat chips mode with mortars only and of course the most fitting monkey of them all, the mortar monkey. Uh, so anyways, um, I just, I don't know how I, I want to finish this off, but, uh, there are con some conspiracy theories that are either true or cannot be, um, disproven, um, which is kind of interesting. That's why they are a conspiracy theory. I, I guess that's kind of a, a fun way to look at things. Let me know in your, in the comments below what you believe is the most likely conspiracy theory to actually exist, um, or actually have happened. Um, I'm curious to know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments below. Um, and if you enjoyed, don't forget to press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.